Today we're going to look at exporting and importing the contents of the RAD Rich text box control. RAD Rich text box is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. The RAD Rich text box control offers broad editing and formatting capabilities, which comes with unmatched performance. The RAD Rich text box control provides a MS Word like editing experience along with support for importing and exporting many different file formats, including doc, HTML, RTF, XAML, and text. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010, and we're working with the same project that we were working with before, except for uh, I've added a split in our grid here where I can add a couple of buttons here and of course our Rand Rich text box is on the right hand side. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add two buttons here, one for importing and one for exporting. So I'm just going to click over on my toolbox and we'll just go ahead and pin that and I'm going to grab a button, I'm going to drag it here and then I'm going to get another button and I'm going to drag it here. So now that we have two buttons, I'm going to select my first button and I'm just going to give this the name of BTN Export and I'm going to go to my second button and I'm going to give this the name of BTN Import. So now that we have two buttons added to our grid here, I'm going to select the first button and I'm going to change the content to Export and the second button I'm going to just change this to Import. We'll go ahead and we'll add in two event handlers here. So the very first one, I'm just going to add an event handler. I'm going to switch back to my main page, to the import, and I'm just going to double click and add an event handler here. So before I add some code, I'm going to need to add in a couple of additional references to this project. So we can see, if we can scroll over here, that under our references, we have the references that comes with the Rad Rich text box control, but we don't have any of the references that actually export and import the data. So I'm just going to go Telerik Rad Controls for Silverlight. I'm going to select Configure Project, and then I'm going to scroll down here, and you can see a couple of different format providers. So for this sample, I'm actually just going to select all of the format providers where I have everything that I need. So once I do that and I select finish, it will automatically add those to my project. And I can see that by scrolling over here. So now once that's in place, I'm going to need to add a couple of using statements. Now I've tried this before and so a couple of the using statements that I know I'm going to need, I'm just going to add them in here. That way we get some of our nice IntelliType. Of course you can always resolve these namespaces as you're typing. So the first button that we're going to work on is the export button. So we're going to simply create a new method here and we'll just name this public void and this is going to be export to docx and we're going to be passing in a rad document and then we'll just give this the name of document. So now that that's in place we're going to use the format provider. So we can do docx format provider. We'll just give this the name of provider equals new docx format provider. And then we'll use the save file dialog that's already built in to Silverlight 5. So save file dialog. We'll just name this save dialog equals new save file dialog. We'll give it a default extension and we'll just add that to a docx and we'll go ahead and we'll throw in a save dialog filter and that filter is just going to simply be documents docx and then we'll add our bool with the that captures the dialog result and that's just going to be a save dialog dot show dialog And then finally we can add in an if statement that if our dialog result is equal to true then we'll have a using statement output equals save dialog dot open file. And we'll finish up here with a provider dot export and we're going to be exporting the document 
and then of course we'll just pass through the output and we'll let our user know that the file saved successfully so I have a few namespaces that I'm going to need to resolve real quick the first ones we need to add the system.io so now we have our export to docx and I'm going to simply call this method export to docx and we'll do rad rich textbox dot document so we have our export button now added in so let's go ahead and add in our import button so again we will create a public rad document and we'll just name this import docx and we'll add in here our rad document equals document is equal to null we use the i document format provider i document format provider provider and then we're going to do equals new and we'll just do a docx format provider so once that's in place I'm going to use a code snippet here to fill in the rest and as you see here we're going to use our open file dialog we're going to set the filter we're not going to allow them to select multiple files we're only going to display one and then we're going to show our dialog we'll get our stream and then we're going to report the provider.import is going to be pushed out to the local variable named document finally we're going to need to return the document now that that's in place we can simply come back up here and we can go rad rich text box dot document equals import docx so now we're ready to run the application so let's just go ahead and we're going to go so once our application loads we see we have our two buttons here we have our export and we have our import if we go ahead and we hit export here and we'll just give this the name of exported document and we'll hit return we'll get our message box that says file saved successfully and if I navigate over to my temp directory and I double click on exported document then I'll see this is our exported document that came from our rad rich text box inside our Silverlight application so on the flip side I can hit the import button here and I'm just going to select an article that I wrote for Aneta and you can see that that document has now been imported into the rad rich text box control Again, thank you for watching, and please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos, and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements.